Hi guys, it's SJ, welcome around. Today I'm gonna to do a grocery haul. I'm finding these really interesting and useful at the moment because it's getting into summer, even though it's kind of like murky outside now. And the kids are really enjoying much more fresh food. I've got a load of breakfast, lunch, and dinner meal plan this week. I've kind of got out of the habit and it's been a bit slapdash what's in the cupboard lately. So it's the first time I've actually had a full delivery um, and I've planned it all out what we're gonna have. Um, the kids are kind of moving more towards my veggie ways, I would say, um, and really wanting to get back involved with food and cooking. Um, that's like a lockdown thing, I'm sure, because there's less that they're doing. So I've got a few ideas of stuff that the kids can get involved in making as well. Um, so yeah, I hope it's gonna be a really yummy week and I'll show you what we got. So I've got tons of fruit this week. Um, it's so summery. I've got these gorgeous peaches, which I cannot wait to have, and they're yummy in salads. Four avocados, because Evelina likes to have avocado smash for breakfast um, and goes with everything, like a little snack as well. She likes a little snacky plate, so I'll show you what I put on her snacky plate later. And then just normal conference pears. That's something that everyone in our family likes. I've got this cute box of um, apples. I thought those look really nice. Um, coming in that box and probably will also make some sort of like apple crumble with Freddie because he's really getting into making his crumbles and some blueberries which Evelyn has already half devoured. I also really like these innocent smoothies. I just bought one box of these this week um, which isn't great because you only get four but I do have um, obviously a bunch of stuff we can make our own smoothies and then I thought I would try these. I don't actually know what they are, Danone. Um, so I think it's for sort of gut health a little bit more. Let's open them and see actually. All right, so it's instead of the little bottles, it's kind of like in a, a pouch. I would give that a go. I think that would be good for picnics. A lot of this stuff is for picnic portable. So I've got a couple of yogurts. Um, I got the Alpro one for me. I don't normally eat yogurt, but I thought I would try some yogurt and some of these peaches. And then I got this one for little Miss Evelina who's over there. So I thought what we could do is make the yogurt lollies uh, for breakfast. I thought she'd really enjoy that. Freddie loves having fried eggs for breakfast at the moment. And these are their favorite ones because they are blue. <laughs> um, Evelina quite likes a dippy egg as well. I've got this cheese, which is the cheese the kids like, and some butter. Um, and then I've got this smoked salami. So Henrik loves this. Um, he has that just with seeded bread. Um, my middle son, he always has cereal, he always has Weetabix, but I've got tons of Weetabix, um, which is why it is not in this shop. I thought I would just quickly show you that I gave him Weetabix and he has it with um, Manuka honey. So this is one I'm just trying right now, it's quite a thick one. Um, and try to get local honey where you can, but I get this Manuka honey um, because it's really, really good for him, particularly for his um, health and with his allergies, he sometimes gets a bit sore or tingly around his lips, which is really, really sad. Um, and this really helps, he can have a spoonful of honey as well. So it's expensive, but um, I always get it for him. So the kids are big snackers. Um, we get the rice cakes, the kids like the apple ones. Um, we've got a couple of the fruit ones just to take out with us on days out, our little picnics and stuff. These are quite good because they're like the long ones, they look like sweets, but they're made with fruits. Um, Evelina really likes these still, and she still also really likes the pouches, and so does Finn. Um, so I'm just sticking with that as a little bit of a smoothie snack on the go. Um, and then they really like the corn sausage rolls. This is three large size sausage rolls um, that we heat up and wrap in foil. This is always their after school snack. It's a good afternoon one. And we also get the little cocktail sausages, which I really like as well. That will go on a picky plate. <laughs> uh, some tinge fruit, that's Evelina playing over there. Um, for Henrik, he loves to have this as a snack. I love these lentil chips, mango and mint flavor. Is that what I chose? Oh, I'm not sure. I'll try that though. I'm sure I like it. I really mm, like these. I don't think the kids will go for that now. Um, but they really like these tortilla chips. So I've got that for taking out again on um, days out. So I thought for fun I would do some bread with Freddie. We've never made bread together before. I don't have a bread um, maker. But I think this should be quite easy. And he loves sort of really fresh white bread. And then I've bought the tahini and chickpeas to make our own hummus to go with it, uh, which I think he'll really enjoy as a, one of our lunches this week. Our one red meat. <laughs> this is for Henrik to barbecue for him and the boys. So 
they like these gourmet burger kitchen burgers and he does that for lunch time and actually he's been teaching Freddie to barbecue which has been quite fun and then I got the brioche buns and normally when the boys have that Evelina and I have one of our mega salads which I'll show you in a minute for me I got this gazpacho I've had a real craving mad craving for this um, and what I thought I would do is buy it and I'm also going to try and make my own as well the basic salad bits but I will show you all my salad plans in a minute bottle of red wine for Henrik and I um, another loaf of bread I buy this kind of um, instant coffee for just when I'm making coffee for myself but Henrik normally makes a fresh pot um, using the coffee maker in the morning and then I've just got one of these I like this one and I always sort of I take that on the go if we are heading out for a picnic I might have something like that with me and of course, if you never watch any of my grocery hauls, I'm embarrassed about my tofu wiener yet again, but Evelina loves these, they are so delicious. Um, if your kids like hot dogs or anything like that, to put on a picky plate, they are packed full of taste and you can just have them cold and we just heat them up very slightly. So I keep saying that we have picky plates a lot, that's what we call the more yummy plate, but basically, I don't know about your kids, but my kids always, especially Evelina, love a plate with lots of little bits on it. Um, so she normally has something like this. This is the homemade bread. I think it actually came out quite nice. Um, she's got blueberries, cucumber, avocado, the tofu sausage, and a boiled egg. And then on the side, I've just got some hummus. I haven't actually made the hummus yet. So this is just some shop-bought hummus because um, she loves to dip things in. And I've got a couple of things to bulk out. Some salads. I've got this black dal, which I love. So I would always just dump that with some spinach, um, some of the tomatoes, some of the salad-y stuff and make myself a really yummy salad bowl. Um, and the same with this. So this is one of my favourite things to get, the tender stem peas and cabbage and like edamame. That is yummy on top of a salad. So another new thing I'm going to make this week is my own nut-free pesto. So Finn um, has a nut allergy and so he's never tried pesto, but I'm going to do a spinach and basil pesto we normally have this uh fresh pasta the kids like it i always think it's a, kind of got a little bit of veg in it um and the other two have it with pesto but he's never tried it so i'm hoping that this comes out nice and they all enjoy it because he kind of feels like he's missing out at the moment veggie wise i've got potatoes i've got this ginormous broccoli some carrots um the courgettes actually are from my neighbor's allotment um i've been getting tons of veggies from her and some beans as well in there um, so the kids actually just really, really love broccoli as their main one, but they will have carrots and then they've also just have frozen peas and frozen sweet corn. Um, that kind of just helps me to keep it fresh. So one night we're going to have veggies and potatoes and they've started to really like these corn crispy nuggets. So I thought that would be quite a fun dinner for one of the evenings and if you are cutting down and looking for some veggie alternatives for kids these seem to go down really well with mine better than normal like chicken nuggets um i also got these just to try with them they're like goujon ones and then chip shop fish so freddie has been really off fish for years and suddenly likes them again obviously this this unhealthy version um but i don't mind that for one night in the summer holidays or for lunch is literally they're all of their favorite meals and i've already got chips in the freezer one night I'm going to do a stir fry, it's my favourite dinner, no one else is, uh, but I, these are the Singapore rice noodles, so they're a lot thinner, they're quite fun to eat, they're actually, I might get some chopsticks because they're quite easy to do with chopsticks, um, or I just also have store dried noodles as well. This is a kind of veg pack that I got with that, um, which looks quite nice and fresh, and I've tried prawn crackers for the first time, so I think the kids will enjoy trying that on the side, we've never had it before. For the meat eater, for my husband's protein, I got him these salmon fillets. So he might have that with new potatoes for a lunch, um, potentially, or he might have that as his protein for the stir fry, I'm not sure. He likes to have a big hot lunch, and I'm often out with the kids. So I bought him this pork schnitzel, which I got him the other day, and I've got him this potato dough for the It's so heavy. So that would be his his lunch portion. He really needs a hot lunch. That's his favourite. And that's his favourite. So I got all his faves. I forgot I got this and I'm quite excited about this. This is my red wine plan. Because Finn is allergic to nuts, we don't have nuts anymore. But we used to love um, red wine and nuts and these are beans. So that might be just a treat for me and Henrik. Maybe a movie night. And then for the kids' puddings, I don't bake puddings or make hot puddings, maybe I should, I don't know, I just, 
I don't. I don't have a sweet tooth. Even though, even though I have been given some dates, which I think I'm going to try a sticky toffee pudding because Freddie does like to bake. These are our favourite ones. They're fruit and veg lollies and they are like rocket lollies. Um, they're quite pricey actually, but they're six, which is a good family of three. And they really, really like those. And the same with um, the pip organic versions as well, the lung ones. But they actually much prefer the... Um, rocket shape and that is raspberry and beetroot orange and carrot and apple and spinach in the lollies tastes fine but i think that's they like that so they'll always run straight to the freezer for their pudding and have one of those so thank you so much for watching i'm not sure i did my meal plan totally perfectly then because i lost my list <laughs> Um, but I will write it down in the uh, description box below, kind of what we're having. It is a mismatch, a miss, mismatch, mix, mismatch. It's a bit of a mishmash because I'm veggie and I like to eat very light foods. I would always just have salads as often as I can, but just really, really enjoy them, especially this time of year especially with a neighbour who has an allotment. Um, and then Henrik likes to have his heavier meals as well mixed in. So sometimes we'll have like a lot of different meal planning, a lot of different meals going on. Um, so really just getting all our favourites in and being creative with what we've got. By the end of the week, it's always there's always about a portion of everything left over and we have like leftover night. <laughs> Everyone gets their favourite. I call it favourites night, but yeah, it's just whatever I've got. Um, uh, thanks for watching. I will definitely try and do some more of my cooking videos. I always say I'm going to try and I don't really manage but um, I really want to get into them because I've got more time at home if you don't mind a bit of the background chaos and noise of the kids then come on around for those don't forget to hit subscribe if you are new request any videos you'd like to see from me in the comment section below and say hi and I will see you on my next video bye guys